Previously, Rachel's dad Anton and I had sailed up to Lizard Island in far north Queensland. In this episode, you'll meet Jack and David, two chopper pilots on a camping holiday in their chopper, who offered very kindly to take us for a fly around the island. And we're also going to show off all the other things that Lizard Island has to offer. back to all the stars sailing adventures join us rachel and jess on our cavalier 37 all the stars as we live and learn about life on the water It's a lovely windy Tuesday morning here <laughs> on board All The Stars and we have some exciting news. What are we up to today, Anthony? We're, uh, we're going to get airborne. We're going up in a helicopter. Helicopter? I know. What? I know. The last thing I thought I'd be doing going on a sailing trip. Yeah, and me too. So we've befriended a couple of guys, lovely fellas, uh, Jack and David, and they've decided they've offered to take us up for a quick fly around the island before they head off today. So we're really excited. Let's hit it. Yeah, cool. I'm going to introduce David. And Jack. Meet our pilots. Woohoo! <laughs> Here we go. You fellas are legends for taking us up. Yeah, you're welcome. We are very, very happy. That's cool. Hope you enjoy the flight. Yeah. Yeah. Sure you will. It takes about 15 minutes to unpack and then pack it properly. Yep. So you've been charging up some batteries. Batteries, yeah, we're charging up our power banks. So we've got that, so we've got a solar blanket there. What's he doing, David? Uh, he's doing the pre-flight inspection, ch checking the bearings and uh, making sure everything's moving, sliding perfectly yep. for the tail rider. Where well, you're going to be seated, you've got your normal car, car seat, belt sort of thing. Goes over your lap into a normal thing there. You've got your life jacket. We're going to be flying over water, so... Um, the doors are off, that makes life easy. You don't actually need to try and open the doors or get out of the machine at all. But if we do go down and we're gonna hit the water, obviously I'll brief you on exactly what's going on, whether I'm able to still fly the machine if we're on fire or something like that, then I'll fly down to as low as possible, keep the machine flying, get used to bail out, and then I'll take the machine off somewhere and put it down in the water or wherever, and um, just get you away from it so you're safe. The machine will roll over instantly. Yeah. Obviously that thing's like hanging onto a tire like a bike wheel and it's gonna go yeah. Yeah. and do not leave the aircraft until you hear that stop. It'll yeah. just go wallop, wallop, wallop and then push and there'll be heaps of screaming and carrying on coming from the belts and yep. everything. After Jack had scared the living daylights out of us telling us about what could go wrong. Yeah, here we go. We took off. This 
sweet. Thanks so much, guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look forward to seeing the future. Good luck with everything. Like you said, we we're still buzzing. Still that, buzzing, that, indeed. That was amazing. It was. And not scary at all for someone who's scared of heights. I wasn't worried. No. Nah. It wasn't queasy. Yeah, it was brilliant. Hooked. Hooked. So don't really know how you top that sort of an experience. I think um, we're just gonna go back to the boat for the rest of the afternoon, see what we can come up with tomorrow. Oh, what's Anthony up to this morning? Running repairs. Running repairs, he's earning his keep. Look at this. Got a 12 volt light fitting that's usually above the saloon table. And it's been uh, flickering a little bit, I'm not switching on reliably. There's a bit of corrosion there. And if there is salt water coming in down through these wires, that would explain it. Even that doesn't look that clean. It's all black, you know? Yeah, yeah, I'd say corrosion, once it gets in, it starts just eating away. It just keeps traveling, eh? Mm. I'm just going to temporarily plug this in just to see if what we've done. I'm going to hold something. Oh, it's okay. It's really just a temporary... Yeah, so that's... I don't know, it's, it could even be in that seal. It section. could be, could be. Intermittent faults, they're great. We've got yeah, disco lighting going on. <laughs> Strobe. Backwards and forwards. I don't think we've won. Okay. Challenge continues. It only has to work till I get off the boat. <laughs> That's right. Gee, I don't know. I think you might have fixed it. Well, until it until it's not working, it's fixed. Yeah. Well done. See. Well, what I'd say is, yeah, I fixed it, and if it breaks again, you broke it. <laughs> I fixed it. What are you doing to it, mate? Very wise, very wise. <laughs> well, we're heading up that big hill, aren't we? Cook's look. Cook's look? Let's go and have a look at Cook's look. <laughs> 360 meters, extremely difficult. We'll get the heart pumping. Show you a torch you're walking in the late afternoon. I'm working for you people. This is quite a hike. Happy for us to be here. Of course, we had to pick the middle of the day to do this walk. It's about 400 degrees, no breeze. Have to concede defeat today. It's uh, 35 degrees in the shade and even hotter out there in the sun. There's just no wind uh, on this on this side of the island, so I'm getting quite hot, didn't bring enough water. It is midday, and ever since I kind of pushed it one day when I was working on a building site at 43 degree heat one day, I'd, I went into heat stress, and ever since then, my thermostat just can't handle um, extreme temperatures for very long, and I, I go into heat stress a lot sooner than I used to. So it's just wiser for me to sit out sit it out here and let Rachel's dad uh, hike to the summit like a champion, and um, I'm gonna have a crack at the summit in the next few days, and I'll start earlier in the day. Sometimes you just gotta swallow your pride. Oh, now way down. It's sort of place you can probably spend a few weeks, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So 
So we're going to make you wait till next week to see the underwater wonders of Lizard Island and the teeming wildlife. Before Anthony leaves the ship and heads home. So stay tuned for part three next week. And why not gain access to special content on our Patreon page by going to patreon.com slash all the stars. Mm -hmm.